If I told you a few years ago that cryptocurrencies will revolutionize the way people invest, you would have seen it as a joke. Now everyone is lining up to be part of the crypto space, in any way or manner that they can. We have already talked about investors, those who use their money and invest in existing projects in order to get their gains. But we have not yet talked about the other end of the spectrum, which is all about the people who establish their very own altcoins in order to gain dominance over the crypto world. There are literally thousands of coins in the market at the time of this video's posting, and you'd be thrilled to know how endless the possibilities are. The market is indeed oozing with coins, and your choice may come from a plethora of different brands out there. But does this mean that all possesses the potential, let alone active and operational? This is Diversified Streams, your go-to YouTube channel for all things crypto. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest news and tips related to crypto, and make sure to keep your notifications on so you'll be updated with our latest videos. We post frequently so you wouldn't want to miss it. In today's video, we will be talking about dead coins, what they are, who they are in the market, and how knowing about them will keep you from saving the money you only hope to invest in a good coin. Discussing each of the dead coins in the market today will take days, even months to complete. So we'll narrow this video's list of dead coins to some of the most popular, for all the wrong reasons of course. There are over 20,000 cryptocurrencies that have occupied and continue to occupy the crypto market ever since cryptocurrency became a thing. Now, if you have been around for a pretty long time in the crypto scene, you'd know that a lot of these cryptocurrencies are zombie projects, meaning they have flourished at one point only to die down due to the external and internal reasons, now only floating into space like abandoned ships left to orbit for eternity. There's this website called 99bitcoins.com that keeps track of these dead coins in the market, and they claim that there is a total of 1,705 dead coins floating in the market today. To be honest, the number of projects that fell from grace seems to be so much more than that. I think that there are a lot of dead projects that have not seen the light of day, and many of them have the likelihood of being Ponzi schemes disguised as crypto projects. Anyways, let's head on to the main point of this video and talk about some of the dead coins. First on our list is Namecoin, and it is a name you don't hear from nowadays. It can be considered a pioneer in the altcoin scene when coin market cap launched in 2013. And one of the main goals of this project was to provide a decentralized domain name service. Users of the coin will be granted the power to register different aspects of their identity, such as email or Bitcoin addresses. It was relatively secure and safe during its peak as it was impenetrable to outside risks. But those who have used it said that it was not as user-friendly as they hoped it would be. Of the over 120,000 domains under the project that was registered, only 28 were considered active in the year 2015. Since then, its progress and influence seem to have continued going down, having a weak trading volume and a market cap of only 10 million. It is not yet dead, I suppose, as the team working behind it is still active. However, with its current stats and history, it would seem to be a suicidal attempt to even invest in it. The next coin that we'll be talking about has a particularly heroic tagline. One coin to roll them all, one coin to find them, and one coin to bring them all up into the darkness. It's just unfortunate how they did not live up to the height of their slogan. I'm talking about one coin, founded by Ruja Ignatova. Now, you may have not heard her name, or if you have, probably for the wrong reasons. This woman woke up one day and decided that she'd establish a self-proclaimed title of the Bitcoin killer in crypto. This definitely seems like something straight out of a fraud, which happened to be true, since it was later revealed that one coin was a Ponzi scheme. It was kind of unfortunate though that they were able to amass a total of $4 billion before they were finally put to a stop. Aside from the coin, Ignatova's company also sold paid courses on crypto, which were surprisingly plagiarized. This worked just like a pyramid scam as the buyers will be incentivized if they will be able to attract others to also get the courses, giving her a substantial amount of money and influence by having others do her work. At the time of its website's closure, the investor's suspicion of Ignatova grew bigger. Before they could send her to jail though, she disappeared into thin air, 
leaving only her brother, which also happened to be the co-founder, to run the company. In 2019, the two were eventually arrested and Ignatova's brother signed a deal obliging him to inform the authorities of any and all of Ignatova's accomplices in this scam of a project. There were rumors that this whole fiasco has ties with the Bulgarian mafia, so it is a really messy issue to be tangled with. We have discussed two dead projects in crypto, and I'm pretty sure you guys know of others too. What dead projects do you know that we should be wary of today? Let us and the other viewers know in the comments down below, and let us help each other out in avoiding these frauds. While you're at it, please give us a like and subscribe so you'll be a part of our growing community. Now let's go back to the video. Another dead coin that has fallen out of craze is BitConnect, which was released in 2016. It was a project that allowed a user to exchange their Bitcoin for the BCC token, promising a yield of 1% interest compounded on a daily. It did flourish for a brief period when the price of BCC rose from $0.17 cents to $463, occupying a spot in the top 20 coins during its time. However, everything went downhill after that, when the government of the UK ordered BitConnect to prove its authenticity in 2017. Not long after, a lawsuit was filed against the same project by the state of Texas in the US, which claimed in a cease and desist letter that BitConnect was in fact another Ponzi scheme. Days after, the company closed its services and the price of the Bitcoin went down to 92% just as fast as it grew before. Like the previous Ponzi scheme that was discussed, this case sought an end where the founder, Satish Kumar Kuban, escaped to never be seen again, having another person of authority take all the blame. This time, it was the American national promoter, Quinn Arcaro, who was found guilty of frauding their investors an amount that totaled $2 billion. The whereabouts of Kuban remain to be unknown, but we do know that should he make himself public again, he will definitely be doing a lot of explaining. These three dead coins are only some of the thousands of projects that are considered dead in the market today, and the accumulation of several projects during the bull run back in April and May last year opened opportunities not just for investors but also, unfortunately, potential fraudulent projects. It was during last year's bull run that the meme coin gained momentum and eventually became popular, as a lot of investors decided to buy them as some sort of a joke, wasting money just for fun, not something you always see in crypto. Doge was one of the first meme coins to ever enter the market in 2013, and it definitely flourished thanks to the bull run that happened, adding the fact that Elon Musk tweeted about it before. The gains were blinding as they seemed to be really profitable, and so you kind of expected that there would be a handful of people who also tried their luck in establishing copycats of Doge, like Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu seemed to have benefited from the algorithm of Doge's success, as it also had really good gains at the time of its establishment. But if you think that a single copycat would suffice, it did not end there. Through the years, we've seen developers make copycats of the copycat, each having names that seem to get as comical as a project name can get. Nobody took a liking to the coins because of the potential of the project. It kind of seemed like everyone just overlooked that factor and put the humor on top of the list. As you may have expected, many of these projects died down just as fast as they shot up in the sky. There are also coins like Squid Game and SafeMoon, which banked on cultural appropriation. During Squid Game's launch, the people were genuinely obsessing over the series that it was named after, and so the abrupt gains were expected. Their value jumped from a few cents to a whopping $3,000 and the founders were ultimately able to amass a total of $3.4 million from their investors in a short period of time. It did seem like the project was not meant to go off for a long time though, as the announcement was made at a rather exclusive platform, Telegram to be specific, and the reason being the project was too stressful for the developers. If you had your eyes rolling for that reason, we understand. Pop culture was able to help Safe Moon in the same manner, as it was all over the news because it was always endorsed by celebrities back in 2021. But inevitably, the coin crashed by 85%, and while it did try to redeem its glory and assure the investors through wind turbines, which I don't see any correlation at all, it still failed and was met with countless lawsuits for being fraudulent and deceiving the people by marketing the coin with celebrities. As you may have expected, the project was abandoned by the people who built it. In all the coins and situations we have presented to you, 
we have seen the behavior of people being particularly incised with the project and developers using that attraction to trick the same people into investing into their poorly constructed schemes. Whether or not these projects were meant to scam the people, the establishment of projects just to be a part of the market that can definitely negatively influence the lives of people, especially the investors. Investors, on the other hand, have a habit of putting themselves way too deep into these projects, investing a ton of money only to end up chasing frauds in the end as a result of their greed. As such, we should be mindful of the projects that we invest our money into. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP are some of the well-established and trusted projects to put your trust into and actually invest in. And there are others in the market who seem to be building up the trust of the people as we speak, despite the challenge of not appearing as yet another fraudulent act. Also, it will never hurt to do your research on these type of things. In crypto, there are projects that are too good to be true and offer you things that may cloud your judgment, and that is something you need to always watch out for. The crypto market can be just as risky as any other business venture, and just because everything happens much more seamlessly, it does not mean that everything you see is a viable opportunity. And that's it for today's video. I do hope that you have now grasped the idea of dead coins and why you should not be investing in any of them. If you have any other thoughts on today's topic, let us know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, give us a big thumbs up and a subscribe. This has been Diversified Streams. Goodbye, and see you on our next video.